Six F-35As from Edwards Air Force Base, California, have arrived at Mountain Home Air Force Base to begin an operational deployment test on the local range complex. The uh, 31st test uh, squadron deployed up here to Mountain Home to test the entire cradle-to-grave spectrum of deployment capabilities uh, of the F-35. And then now that we're here, we're testing some of the uh, capes and limitations of the F-35 uh, during our three basic mission sets, which is closer support, interdiction, and limited uh, seed or suppression of enemy air defenses. The F-35 is a fifth-generation multi-role fighter with electronic warfare and multi-spectral fuse sensor capabilities. But what does that mean? Well, simply put, the F-35 is designed to compare to current tactical fighters in terms of maneuverability, but has advanced stealth, agility, speed, and the most sophisticated technological advancements in an aircraft to date. The F-35 will likely make up the majority of the Air Force's fighter force in the future, so it's important for these tests to push it to its limits in order to pinpoint any problems that may arise. Uh, it's absolutely important to make sure that the F-35 is ready to go uh, for the Air Force to make its decision on initial operational capability uh, and make sure that the F-35 is ready to deploy for a combat scenario. The Mountain Home Air Force Base Range Complex provides the ultimate airspace for these tests to be conducted. The pilots can work with joint terminal attack controllers on the ground and coordinate movements with other aircraft as they would in a real-world scenario. Uh, we've got some limited integration with the A-10s, and this afternoon, in fact, we just started integrating with the F-15E Strike Eagles uh, down the street from the 389th Fighter Squadron. Uh, so far, it's going all right. You know, we've had our struggles, some ups and some downs, uh, but all in all, I'd say it's a big win. From Mountain Home Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Jay Legate.